<laughs> All right, hey guys, it is me, Simone. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> uh, wow, my desk is messy. So, and I didn't close up my glue sticks. All right. I'm, I always say the same thing when I make my videos because the videos that I record versus the videos that I play for y'all they're not recorded at the same time because things happen. I have tons of videos and backlog I need to upload but I wanted to make this video um, which is going to be basically a haul and a review of a product I bought in the mail. So it's a basically AliExpress and um, scrapbooking made simple so hold on real quick let me get everything and then I'll be back okay I'm back I had to make sure I got everything excuse the desk yeah I've been working on a bunch of swaps lately I'm actually about to start working on another swap so this is what happens when you do last minute crafting you literally just throw things on your desk and however they go, however they go, and you're just like, yeah, that looks fine. So I have Scrapbooking Made Simple haul. This is their shop that didn't hop sale that they did last year in 2020. It actually was renamed to a warehouse sale. They do pretty much every year. They didn't do it this year. I think it's basically because... 2020 was so interesting a lot of packages got backlogged with the whole COVID and everything and that's actually one of the biggest reasons why I did not do a lot of ordering from Aliexpress that and I did a lot of ordering from different warehouse sales once we kind of start opening back up a little bit kind of so I did do the, the 2020 warehouse sale she did and my package took a whole year and a month to get to me just because of everything going on so it was this is the longest I've ever waited for a package normally like last year I did it I waited about six seven months cut it two orders this one was the longest so let me show you everything I got I didn't get too much stuff because I told y'all in my last video when I did my huge spellbinder hauls and stuff or those big hauls I did last year, I wasn't trying to buy a lot of stuff last year because I did so much with the warehouse sales. So I didn't get much. I got, and obviously I can't leave links because these are like basically, if you don't know, I'm kind of explaining this real quick. The scrapbooking made simple warehouse sale or the shop that didn't hop sale basically what she does is she goes to different manufacturers and buys basically what they have with all their old inventory and she get, makes a deal with them and she sells it for like rock rock bottom prices but they only have a certain amount of those products so once she sells them on the website they're kind of like sold out so I can't link them anywhere for you I'm so sorry about that so the first one I have here is the ultimate crafts um, Seasons Greetings Collection. It's the Be Merry Lace Doily. I thought it was so cute. And look, it's right in time for Christmas. I'm actually in a Christmas swap, so I will definitely be using those. This like you see, I have a lot of these dies. I have this other one, Ultimate Crafts, and this is called the Stained Glass Doily die. I think it'd be so cute to use this. Um, and like either cut out gold paper and like glue it to like some vellum that you went over with like a marker or you um, did like some embossing behind it. I don't know. It's going to be so cute. Next one I have here is Ultimate Crafts. It's the Ritz Collection. This is the Showing Off Edge Die. So, desk is messy. I, when is my desk not messy though? Um, so, I think this is a duplicate because I think I bought one of these already from Sizzix's website when they were having their own like clearance sale a while ago. I think I have this set. But this is the thinlets. This is the alphabetized, I think what it's called. Alphanumeric labels. So basically, if you can see like right here, there is all the letters and there's numbers next to it. So you get multiple of each letters. So you can write, you can um, spell out full words and I have to like rearrange the dies to use that L or the A or whatever. 
I have this one. This is the Ultimate Crafts Ooh La La Collection. This is the Climbing Flower Border. You can see that one. Really cute. I got this one. This one's the Ultimate Crafts Ooh La La Collection. This is a framed art deco butterfly set. Say that ten times fast. I love butterflies. Next we have here is the Inspire by Spellbinders. And this is a... Uh, What's it called? Is that a name? Out and about. I guess the name. It's just this beautiful, like little scooter or moped with balloons. It's so cute. I like this idea. I think some embellishments would be cute out of that. Then I got this one. I've been wearing this for a while. It's a good price. It's the Chrome Precision Base Plate from my Big Shot. I'm really excited to use this. This is good using for good thin, intricate dyes. Which I have a lot, as you can kind of see the ones I bought here. So I'm excited about that. Okay. <laughs> These are my favorite dyes to buy. These are the X Cut dyes. And this is the <clears throat> leaf border. And it shows you like everything you get right here. You see that? But it is so cool. And this does come with a magnetic sheet under it <clears throat> awesome this one is the star decorations it's so cool and you can make a 3d star which i think would be cute to make some cute embellishments and send them off or you make christmas ornaments then i have this embossing folder here this is the ultimate crafts floral honeycomb yeah, let's show you the pattern. Okay, there's actually like the full collection of it, but that's the pattern right here. It's kind of hard to tell. It kind of reminds me of like a um, like, like a flower you always see from like uh, Hawaii. Um, I don't know the name of the flower. That's what it reminds me of that kind of Hawaii flower you always see. Then I bought some of her stuff. This is her Simply Defined Snowflake Furry. So cute. I love scrubbing made simple great prices their stuff she um she prices stacy prices herself really well that i kind of wish a lot of the companies do that too but they don't her prices are just ridiculously low for what you're getting i think it's a great price point um, i'll get some more stuff out of here first then i have this one this is the ultimate crafts background gallery collection this uh the sakura field Shh, can't talk secure sakura secure um sphere i can't talk guys huh. and then the last few things i got here are this this one this is the clover quilt <clears throat> is that design right there you can see it a little better this way I thought that was cute. And then I bought a bunch of embossing powders. I'm really, really getting into embossing. And I don't have too many colorful embossing powders. I have the standard like gold, you know, silver, white, black. And I have some colors I bought from Tonic studios but i wanted more colors and these are shimmery so they have a shimmer to them i don't know if you can tell it tell you have a shimmer that they're really pretty this one's called sherbert and then this one here is called green tea this one here is primrose which is really pretty this one here it's like a popcorn like bubble gum pink color it's called cherry blossom and this one here is called mint julep and it's like a really pretty color so i have these and they're very they're all shimmery i like using shimmery embossing powders all right the last thing i got from um them will be this this is the op uh Sizzix opulent <laughs> cardstock i have a lot of the other packs if y'all don't remember oh it's a while ago but she was getting these first before scissors released them on their website and other companies and some of them were messed up and so they were selling them they were selling them at a good price 
and so I wanted to get this one but it sold out before I could get it <clears throat> so this is the ivory one I thought it's just so pretty and it comes with different ones over here all the strips are all the different ones it comes with it has a glitter is what you're seeing now a soft touch a brushed pearl a pearl and a mirror and it's just so pretty and this is my favorite um, like glitter specialty papers to use I think it's just so cute I have some of the other colors I think the only one I don't have is the black I wasn't really into it I don't use black glitter paper that or black paper that often so okay so just swoosh this over here on my already colorful desk guys no judgment no judgment over here okay we're not judging so I went on AliExpress and I bought these actually I found these they were like recommended to me under uh some thighs I was looking at and I was like are you kidding me no way so these are a um domed foam blending sponge like the ones you get from scrapbooking.com or scrapbook.com or the ones you get you can get them from ranger i know ranger has them now and scrapbook.com has them i know scrapbook.com was the first company that i saw that came out the domed ones but hey that's me there could be several other companies so i wanted to compare these against the scrapbook.com ones that i have which are right here can you really even tell the difference so I would say right now between the two I would say the f the bottom the back of the scrapbook.com is a lot firmer this one's a little soft is a lot softer the foam feels the same but I can definitely tell you that this foam from scrapbook.com is a lot denser than this one So that's the things I noticed, but that's it. If you look at them, you can kind of tell that this one's blowing a little bit at the bottom, like the foam. It's not as flat as this one is on the bottom. But that's it. Let's talk about a show blending. So let's do some blending techniques with y'all real quick so y'all can see. And I will leave a link below to these if you're interested in getting them. So let me get some paper in front of us and let me get some ink in front of us and then I need a blending tool. Do I have one near me that I can use? If not, I'm going to have to go grab one real quick, which is fine. Oh, I see one. I see one. Oh, yeah. So we're just going to use the actual scrapbook.com <coughs> holder. So to show y'all. And you actually can get the holders too on, on um, AliExpress. So this is Poppy. This is the Concord and Ninth blending sponge. I mean, uh, ink. so sorry I'm off screen but here you go I, I'm so don't look at me I do I'm, I'm a little heavy-handed when I first start the page but I can always come back and blend that out so it blends fine no problem you know me I'm just trying to quickly do this for y'all I'm gonna show you but it blends fine there's some issues of course you know you need to know too when you first start blending on a sponge it's going to be a little splotchy until you get more ink on it. Sorry, I want to compare the same color. I'm just a little bit sad to have used the same sponge. I mean, I can wash it out. Okay, so let's go over. As I said for the sponge from AliExpress is a lot softer. It's not as um, stiff as the... So I'm going to do the edge on edge because to make it feel the same for me. So... Um, yeah, hold on. I'm just gonna cut this paper in half real quick so I can show y'all. 
so you can easily see the difference. Okay. So, I painted those for y'all to show y'all and talk about the difference between these sponges and stuff. And I'm going to be honest with you and tell you they feel the, they feel similar. I would definitely tell you that with the one from AliExpress, when you start to push on it, you do go down more because it's a lot softer. Um, versus the one from ScrapUp.com, you know, you don't go down as much. But besides that, they blend the same. Actually, you gotta be a little careful about that because you are gonna go down. If you push too hard, you're just gonna just smack down. It's like getting imprints and dents. So it's something to get used to if you go between them. But besides that, they blend perfectly like fine. There's no difference between them. Um this is the one from scrapbook.com. This is my one from AliExpress. There's no difference between them. They blend fine. They're both new sponges. So, of course, they're not going to be completely um, coated because they need to get more ink on them. But besides that, they did perfectly fine. I don't... Besides my splotchiness that I had, but I explained that's going to happen when you're using a new sponge until you get more ink on it. But, like, that's really it. I can't tell you there's a huge difference. Just getting used to that... One's a little more softer than the other one, so you kind of have to push a little lighter on it. Is the only thing I'm going to say that I noticed that you might want to, you know, be aware of. But like besides that, um, there really isn't anything else I want to I would mention about this. They're both fine. So let's go over prices real quick for these. I'm gonna have to look it back up. So I bought a hundred of these. Yeah, you heard me right. A hundred for twenty no nineteen dollars. Nineteen bucks for a hundred of these. Okay. So let me look these up real quick to show you and give you the math for them. Because I'm gonna compare them against Ranger and scrapbook.com. So give me a minute real quick. Ooh. Oh, they're giving out free gifts. <laughs> Don't pay attention to me, guys. I'm like over here shopping. Actually, I'm not. Um.
okay sorry to a lot of look around huh I'll cut that out but all right so for a pack of 10 from scrapbooking scrapbook.com it would be $5.99 but their original price is eight dollars um pack of 10 you if you want to get the biggest pack I think I see from them would be 50 pack and a 50 pack is 28.49 on sale but original price is 40 bucks for the ranger ones the ranger foams off of scrapbook.com are 6.49 but original price they're seven dollars um and you can get like um so that's basically the huge comparison i have so for half of these i'll pay 28.49 off of scrapbook.com or I can go to AliExpress and pay 19 bucks for a hundred of these. And even for the regular foam, the mini foam uh, blending tools, they're way cheaper. I think they're 15 bucks for a hundred of them. So it's it's a lot you can get for dirt cheap. And I actually do have a few um, off-brand blending sponges, and they work fine. I don't know the difference. But that's like really it. They they just feel they feel fine. As if for they feel the same material. It's just that this material is a lot um, softer. It's not as dense as this one is. That's basic question. They're not. It's not as dense. This one's a lot denser. This one's a lot softer. So keep that in mind. That's going to really affect your blending. But besides that, they are like they look the same. They just. But I do like these, and I will definitely get more of these. I have no problems with them. I'm very excited to get them to get uh, started crafting with these, and I will leave a link below for y'all to grab the dome ones from AliExpress if you're interested. Um, I'll even leave a link for y'all for the ones from Scrapbook.com and and the one from Ranger's website too if you want to get there grab theirs and you can buy it from ranger in bulk too but still it's still gonna be around the same price um for each pack and it's just not worth it to me it's an amazing price it came very quickly I, i've had these on hand for a while i was trying to find the my um scrapbook.com one so i could show y'all um, that's what take me a long time because my room is very messy i've been very busy um going through a lot of stuff um yeah so y'all know i got injured and everything so i'm going through with the company to settle that injury and get that all taken care of so it's been interesting right now um for me and i'm most i am um, if y'all did not know i had to go get a procedure done for my injury and it's basically a, an injection a pain injection for my injury so um I'm, I'm getting to that point where I'm getting to the same pain level or getting pretty close to the same pain level um, because the injections only last so long so I most likely will be going back up for that again um, you didn't get to get injections again so it, it's a um, it's a very interesting situation to be put in right now so I have to go through and um, become get to a compromise with my um employer to get that resolved so it's, it's just been a lot uh, for me trying to let work but not try to do too much because i'm very limited on what i can and can't do um like so it is it's been an interesting experience i'm not gonna lie so i'm a little nervous but uh, keep me in your thoughts and prayers when it comes to this and hopefully uh, well, I pray that uh, this turns out great and um, I can put all this behind me and move on with my life so y'all have a great day get crafty and I'll talk to you later bye